Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on here and show you the project I finished, let you know about what I'm working on now. I think back in July, it might have been August, I started pulling down the paneling in my dining room and then I painted it. Well, first I filled 200 holes in the walls that were holding on the paneling and I painted it and then at some point I left off the project and I finally got back to it and then I forgot to show you it. So I'm going to show you my dining room. Please forgive, it is full of plants right now. It's very cold here in Roanoke and my sunroom is just too cold for my tropicals. So they're all over the dining room. So I'm going to show you what we've done. Um, first of all, we painted it this, after I pulled down the paneling, we painted it this lovely yellow with white trim. And that trim takes two coats of, first I have to sand it, then it takes two coats of primer, and then it takes two coats of semi-gloss. And I swear, I thought I would never finish with this trim. I did not do my doors. You see how orangey and original to the house, builder grade they are? Yeah, eventually I want to replace those with like six panel doors, but I'm not there yet. It's gonna be something I wanna do all at one time and it's gonna be kind of pricey. So I didn't paint my doors, whatever. Um, you see I have a nice blank wall. I haven't found art for this wall yet, but I did get a cover for my radiator and I put my shelves on the wall. Some of y'all have seen these little stained glass panels that I bought at a thrift store for like seven bucks each. I've got two of them. I absolutely love them. So I've got two shelves here and then I put two shelves over here. And there's my messy desk. And a banjo on the floor. I'm, I'm not sure why the banjo's on the floor, but that's where it is. The other thing we did in here was we replaced the light fixture. There was a very 80s brassy gold falling apart ceiling fan that I hated up here. And I finally found my light fixture. It's real simple and it's got these crystal drops. I had bought a crystal chandelier for in here. And didn't really know at the time how to measure for an appropriately sized chandelier and Beth messed that one up. So it was the wrong size. Now there is one project left in here and that is not my job. That is Brian's job. He's just been busy. You know, life, car repairs, life. Anyway, um, and that is this trim. It needs to be shimmed behind because this is what was holding the paneling on. So these two pieces are currently in the kitchen. This is up, but it's not, I don't know if you can see, it's not against the wall. So he's got to run shims under those and put those back. But you know what? I'm happy with the room being 99% done. Yay. So with that finally being shown to you, um, I'm going to show you what I'm working on today. Today I'm working on our hallways. Now my hallway is like split into two pieces. It's divided by an arch. See? There's my pretty arch. So the first hallway, one of the things that has to be addressed is this. That's the original doorbell to the house. It's giant and it's really ugly. Apparently it has fingerprints in the dust. That was my doing. Um, it's not something that I dust often, obviously. <laughs> so you get it all here. I'm wearing my beautiful, beautiful fashion choice here of my painting shirt because I'm getting ready to work on this. But other things in the room, this is kind of weird. This down here, I don't know if you can see that. You see this, the carpet here? For some unknown reason, they had a three quarters inch by 18 inch, just piece of wood screwed into the carpet by the trim. This house, I've just stopped questioning. They do so many, they did so many weird things before we bought it and I don't understand it, but that's okay. Um, other things, if you look up here, that is the bracket for an old Smoke detector, I have bought a new smoke detector. And of course it doesn't fit in the same bracket, so I have to change out the bracket. And I'm gonna turn the light off here so 
that you can see my ugly light fixtures that I have not yet found a replacement for. Brian and I went out last night. Let's see. You see that one? That one's ugly too. We went out last night to both Home Depot and Lowe's and I found absolutely nothing that I liked. Everything was either just ugly or not appropriately sized or the booby light and I know you know what I mean by the booby light. Those round lights with the metal piece in the middle. Ugh, they're so ugly. And anyway, so I'm working on my hallway. I've got my painting mess on the floor already. I'm about to paint my ceiling and then I'm gonna paint the walls. Look right here. Look at that. One, two, three, four. That looks like a handprint to me. That is not my handprint. It is not Brian's handprint. That handprint's been there before we were here. So the walls are just grubby and ugly. There's like a lot of stuff like this. I don't know if you can see that. Just, they're just grubby. I'm gonna paint it a color called Twinkling Lights. I've still gotta pull my nails out of the wall. That's, um, I have patched the, I don't remember how many nails were in these walls, but it was a ridiculous number. So I've already patched all those holes. I've just gotta take mine out so that I can paint the walls. But I'm gonna start with my ceiling and that's what I'm working on right now. I hope y'all are staying warm. We're staying warm with the wood stove. I'm a happy, happy girl. I got my wood stove. Anyway, I hope y'all are having a great day. Thanks so much.